Hi everyone, the sealer on the side of the van was looking tired and dirty, so I thought that I'd spend the afternoon sprucing it up. To clean the sealer from our windows, it was much easier to take the window out, so I could get good access to all the nooks and crannies. Taking the window out of a caravan, at least our one, is a lot easier than you'd think. Unscrew the opening strut from the window frame, sometimes there's two. These are just a mirror image of each other. Then go outside and lift the window off its hinge top. As you'd imagine, fitting the window back into place is the exact opposite of taking it out. Excess sealer is good to see in some ways, in the fact that you can see that plenty is being used. The downside is that being exposed for so long, 14 years in our case, it attracts all matter of dirt and debris. If you've got a plastic scraper or an old trim removing tool, you can use this. In our case, an old expired beef eater rewards card was used to remove the old sealer. But don't be tempted on using a knife. That's just going to end in tears. I want to start by saying here that the only sealer that I'm removing is the expulsion and the excess. At no point am I scooping behind a fixture. Obviously doing this would compromise the sealer's job of keeping the water and moisture out and the sealer behind is out of sight anyway. This is purely cosmetic and tidies things up, as well as being a barrier against any additional water ingress. Once you've removed and tidied the old sealer, give the surrounding area a gentle wipe with METS. Not only will this clean away any small bits that you've left, but it'll also clean away any grease from the area so the new sealer's got a dry surface to key to. If you're unsure about this, try it in an inconspicuous area to see how it reacts maybe with your paint. Run a bead of the new sealer around the frame. As you can see, I'm not going to win any awards for cake decorating here, but a bit of spit on the finger smooths things out quite nice, just as it would with silicon if you're going to do repairs in the bathroom or kitchen at home. My result, I'd like to think of as um, functional, not beautiful. Before you refit the window, now's the time to give it a good clean, as you can really get into all those hard to reach places when it's not in situ. So make the most of it being out. Make sure you give it a good buff before you refit it, as any residue on the window is going to be a pain to buff out, as sod's law would have it, it'll be in an awkward place. I made sure that I'd thoroughly clean the edge of the window too, as I haven't done the window rubbers with silicon spray and a cloth, it makes sense to ensure that the surface around the edge of the window is thoroughly clean so that the newly cleaned rubber has an equally clean surface to press onto. The locker edges were looking worse for wear after years of touring so these were given the same treatments as the window edges and spruced up. Remember me saying about it's good to see excess sealer? Yeah, but in this case look at the state of the mastic after thousands of motorway miles. This was cleaned up, as was the door surround. And then the rain came in just as I was finishing. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing by clicking on the logo here and the thumbnail over there to watch other videos. In the meantime, stay safe and thanks for watching. Ta-ra!